I may look like this, 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 and this, but I also look like this, and that's fine. Put your arms out. Put your arms out. <laughs> Okay, so update. I just Snapchatted my really hot neighbor and he Who said are that you like talking to. I'm your only friend. <laughs> TikTok. Oh my gosh, your eyes are so beautiful. Thanks. They don't work. It's like my uncle Kagi once said, with great power comes great big booty bitches. That is not what he said. He totally said it. He did not say that. Totally did. Why am I friends with you? So I see you found me. Fair warning, my corner of the world is dark, twisted, and very, very perverted. I am not for snowflakes. If you are easily offended, keep scrolling. Every single time I meet someone in public and they bring up TikTok, I tell them, oh my god, I love TikTok, it's my favorite app. And then they're like, oh, really? What's your account name? And then I'm like, oh, don't follow me. I'm weird. I just want to give a shout out to all the people born in the 70s and 80s who are too old to be on TikTok, temporarily became alcoholics who start drinking at 11 a.m., addicted to TikToks, embarrassing our children who will no longer even speak to us. Wait, so you're not going home for Thanksgiving? No, I have to work on Friday. You? I'm Canadian, remember? We celebrate Thanksgiving in October. Oh, right, I forgot. You guys are weird. You pronounce the word out, out. You guys are the world's leader in handgun violence, your healthcare system is bankrupt, and your country is deeply divided on almost every important issue. Your cops are called Mounties. <laughs> I'm gonna have a look at this. So I'm just looking over it, and can you see right there? That looks like human jawbone. That is crazy. And the house just up to the right there is from 1535. To be honest, if I wasn't doing my own head in like I am right now, I'd probably be missing it because let's face it, that's usually the job of all the men in my life. Like, I can't go on any dates, so I may as well play mind games with myself. Run. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been, oh ooh, The way that things have been, oh ooh. Second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think that I can be I'm the one at the same, I'm the master of my sea, oh So while the millennials and the Gen Z's are bickering over TikTok, I'm just wondering if anyone from my generation is on here 
Gen X. That means that you were born between 1965 and 1979 and you are somewhere between 40 years old and 54 years old. I wanna be your friend. So in the comments, why don't you tell me what your favorite movie was, Breakfast Club, or maybe your favorite toy, Munchie Chi. Um, and follow me and I will follow you right back so that we can be friends and support one another. Let's talk a little bit about Generation X. The generation so terrifying they couldn't even give it a fucking name. So Gen Xers were raised in a very interesting period of time. They were raised by baby boomers, so they, they knew a very older and maybe kind of feral way to exist and live their life. But then they were also old enough, so when the internet and a lot of new technology started coming out, they also knew a lot more. So they had this kind of ability to cherry pick the best traits of baby boomers and millennials, which makes them some of the most dangerous fucking people in the world. Most of the Gen Xers I knew either went to the military, went to rehab, or went to jail. That means the ones that are left are fucking survivors. So for as many changes in music and style and culture that you think you've been through in the last 50 years, they've been through the most. Also, mental illness wasn't uh, trendy back then. So uh, any kind of mental illness that they had, they usually didn't get any treatment for it. So they had to learn how to cope with it themselves. Medications weren't as delicate or as effective back then. And that leaves you with some very fucking interesting people. Get yourself a Gen X friend, but they'll probably just tell you to fuck off. You know, I think for the most part, everybody on here is trying to show the most perfect version of themselves. So to all the creators out there, here's a challenge for you. Be honest. For example, my name's Jake. In my life, I've lied probably more than I've been honest. I've been unloyal to more people than I've been loyal to. I've been cocky more than confident. Self-conscious more often than self-aware. Drink too much. Love too little. And find it easy to numb my emotions about things that... You shouldn't be able to numb your emotions about. And after all that, I still find myself quite lovely. To all the kids on here, just understand you don't gotta be perfect. Fuck Facebook. Fuck Instagram. It's all bullshit. Your favorite Instagram model took 43 minutes to take that perfect picture. Because even she thinks she's ugly. And your favorite inspirational gym rat just gave up on a family event to go to the gym. Likes do not equal happiness. That got deeper than expected. But I digress.